Hello, hello, this is Josh from Painting by Josh. I'm just going to give you a bit of a rundown on what I like to do when I'm going on, going through taping up gutter, fascia, feet, anything really, and I need a bit of counterweight to hold everything down to stop it flapping. I'll give you a bit of a rundown. I'm just going to go through, tape up. All this has already been finished, but I'll show you the process of me taping up the fascia board and then I'm ready for spraying out guttering. And we'll get it done. Now as you can see, gone through, taped it up. So on this one I finished the the suffetes first, or the eaves, and then I went through and I taped up the back edge of the suffete, sprayed out, sprayed out the fascia twice, then taped up the front edge of the fascia, like this, and then I sprayed out Sprayed out the gutters, two coats. But on that, I've got a couple of, you know, you just would have seen how usually I use the the clips or the clamps as counterweights, and I put them down. But another way, I know a lot of us painters always have a problem with the end of the roll. You know, always end up with a lot of them, and tell you the truth, you know, I get, you know, a couple, a fair few of them, what I do, I end up just throwing them out because it's taking too much space up in the truck. But I found it an awesome, awesome way. As you can see, it's blowing up now. See how it's starting to blow up. So what happens, you blow out, you blow out your gutter and then you'll have the paper flipping up and make it a mess of your finished, of your finished guttering. So what we'll do, just quickly show you. We'll go through and put a counterweight on. So just any of your rolls like that. Aussie, the Aussie um, core cat, protected from all the the flies. But as you can see, we're doing this, and we're keeping keeping and preventing the paper from blowing up. So this works if you're taping the gutter, fascia, suffetes, anything really that you want to have a counterweight. This will work just fine. I'll put one here. There you go. So, as you can see, so these are the three different tapes that I'd use. So this one is the Tenacious K180. This is for anything brickwork, render, masonry surfaces, anything that's hard to stick, I use the Tenacious. Anything that I don't want to stick, or if I've just gone through and I've sprayed out all the, you know, fascia boards and I want to get them taped up within an hour after me spraying, I use the 3M Scotch Blue doesn't stick to anything so 
this is awesome tape for taping up something that you have just painted or you need really low tack. And the next one, this is my all rounder. I use the iQuip Envo tape for anything other than, you know, brickwork render. It has got a, a medium to high tack, so it is awesome tape. I find I use this tape more than anything else. Uh, but like I said, when it comes to anything render or anything like that, it's the tenacious. And then if I want tape that doesn't really stick or it's going to pull off the existing coatings, I use the 3M. So that's pretty much it. Well, like I said, we've just got a counterweight going along the whole way. And that way, you know, it saves. So I suppose it saves money on, you know, buying buying the clamps, and it saves throwing them out. You know, you just keep ten or fifteen of them, with only a little bit of tape on the end, keep them in a bucket, and then when you're going through taping up a house like this, you can just go put them the whole way around, and there you have it. You don't have to worry about going to buy any clamps or anything like that. Plus you've still got an awesome counterweight. So that's pretty much it peeps. Thank you all for watching. I hope you found this little trick coming useful. I appreciate you always tuning in and watching, subscribing to the YouTube and following on Instagram and keeping up to date with all the social media. Much love as always, positive vibes. Stay positive, stay motivated and paint life. Peace.